I'm Stu Jeffries. I'm Stu Jeffries. I'm Stu Jeffries. Another side of Stu Jeffries we've seldom seen. Good evening and welcome to our final show from Victoria's Inner Harbor. I'm Stu Jeffries. Performances on the main stage below have run the cultural gamut throughout the week. Our cameras have been there to catch all the action for you and bring home a taste of it to your home. I would imagine that as an artist, they would think, man, if I get one single out of this, I'm going to be pretty happy. It'd be pretty cool. This thing is loaded with singles. Okay, listen, I got a little patois for you, okay? I'm going to work it out, okay? Good, good, good. Try this one. Time longer than rope. Time longer than rope. Time longer than rope. It means time uh, longer than rope. Time is longer than rope. It really means time is the great healer. Wow, you're deep, Stu. <laughs> Her debut album spent nine weeks at the number one spot and was the highest selling female debut album in any music genre. We're happy to say she is here for the party. the ultimate F you to the entire industry. And more than just that incident about, you know, Natalie saying we're embarrassed that, you know, President Bush is from Texas, which by the way, well, everybody please look back at that moment for a second and tell me how bad was that? I love the name CMT's greatest interviews because it just gives me a chance to sort of reflect on uh, the many superstars that have come through the doors and how privileged and honored and humbled uh, I am and was to be, you know, sitting in front, uh, across from those people and, and asking them questions about their music that I am such a fan of. And one that will always stand out will be Glenn Campbell. My earliest singing childhood memories, grade two, in front of my show and tell class, I decided to do Galveston, having absolutely <laughs> no idea what the song was about, but I loved it so much and wanted to perform it in front of him. And I believe that was my earliest standing ovation, so I want to thank you for that. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Garth, as we traveled across the country together, uh, the subject of country music, where it's going, uh, traditional versus new, came up more than one occasion. I was curious as to what would your radio station be if it was Garth Brooks FM country? Oh, jeez. What would you be playing? I'd be playing the hell out of that Sevens album. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 